Random question, but why do you always have a gun with you on uh, Fear Ann? Uh, because I always keep that motherfucking thing on me. Call me. Dude, you want to know why? Because I stand in solidarity with Ja. Okay? That's why. A lot of people in the chat are saying, oh, that's your ADHD stim toy. And maybe you're right. But much like Ja, I keep that fucking thing on me. Okay? Doesn't matter if we're from uh, comfortable middle class uh, uh, backgrounds. Maybe I'm even more than that. But like we we still like to keep that thing on us. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, it's it's just what it is. I got the blicky. Uh, I got the stick, uh, if you will. Um, the streets are dangerous out here. Dangerous in these streets. The John ja Morant story is so fucking funny to me because, like, now you see, like, Republicans actually defending him, which I think is pretty cool. Where is my Blicky? Hold on. The Blicky. Um, bro is afraid of the gated community gangsters. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> So here's the thing. Jaw is LARPing. He grew up with money. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck he does this. Because it's like, it's it's a weird thing. Because like on the one hand, it's like such an irrelevant thing that you can get away with not doing. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to fucking literally have a gun on you at all times. And you flash it while you're fucking like reacting uh, to to a, a live stream or, or fucking listening to music. You know what I mean? Like, it's so stupid. I'm an entertainer. I, I'm my own fucking boss. You can't do anything to me in that same regard uh, that, you know, I can't do to myself, obviously. Right? But it's just, it's so... It's so fucking stupid. Like, what are you doing? Why? Even even your homies know you shouldn't be doing that. They they try to fucking hide the camera when you're on live and you fucking pull the gun out and you start swinging around while you're like rapping along, you know? And it's dumb. NBA Youngboy music is so good that you have to hold a gun. I know, but it's just so stupid. He lost like $36 million or something in his contract because he couldn't make the all team. Like, it's just... Like, you're literally, there's no reason for you to be brandishing a weapon uh, in when you are at that level. Like, when you're at that fucking level, there's just no reason. Having said that, though, having said that, people are also incredibly up his asshole. Like, I knew it as soon as he started, like, uh, as soon as people were like, is John Morant throwing up gang signs? Is John Morant throwing up gang signs? What is he doing? This man, uh, you know, like, the, the NBA... Um, the, the NBA thug narrative is like uh, one that obviously a lot of white and white adjacent ESPN commentators know very well and want to do and want to uh, play off of. It's a super old narrative that you can constantly get back to. It feeds the media cycle. So like it's a it's a weird situation where like I feel I feel like uh, I'm, a, I'm an extreme centrist on it where like on the one hand, I'm like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. What are you doing? Like, stop waving the fucking gun around every like go, go to a shooting range, shoot the gun. It's great. I have no issue with that. <coughs> but like <coughs> the more you wave it around, the more it looks like you're goading the NBA into taking action and you're going to fuck up your own bag. Like, what are you doing? That's millions of dollars on the line. You're so fucking dumb. It's not for anything good. You know what I mean? Are you like a gun rights advocate? Is that what it is? And if that's your advocacy, what is the advocacy there? Is it to be able to just like fucking live stream yourself being stupid with a gun? Does that make sense? Like, I, I just, it, it doesn't, I don't understand it. You know what I mean? At first I was like, all right, I think people are like up his ass for no fucking reason. People are being ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. But like, now it's like, he's just actively goading the NBA into taking action and they're going to take action. Memphis brain rot is the only explanation. Yeah. Except Memphis is not like a joke. Okay. That's the difference. Real people that actually have guns in fucking Memphis are, are killing people with those guns. Okay. It's not a fucking like, Oh man, like I put on for my city. I'm like, 
This isn't Memphis. Doing this is not Memphis, okay? One of the most violent fucking places in the goddamn country. And, and you know, we're, we're making a... It's like it's almost like making light of it. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just... I, I find it really stupid. That part I, I find to be really, really fucking stupid. It, that's like... It's not... Bro, that is 100% Memphis. What do you mean? Listen, dude. The people that do that or the people that use guns in Memphis do not have the material conditions that John ja Morant has. They do not have access to the same resources that John ja Morant has. Okay? That's fucking insane. That's insane. And every single person that is older, for the record... Every single like uh, older black person that has talked about this issue has literally been like, dude, dude, you're fucking it up. Don't do it. You're so you're being so silly, including like, you know, NBA players, NBA players from that kind of background, too. It's so dumb. Like I, I am I'm a, a very understanding individual, right? I love fanfare. I love, uh, you know, uh, pizzazz. I love people that, like, uh, add an additional layer to the, to the athleticism, right? But, you know, you're, you're, you're being ridiculous in that regard. Like, what are you doing? It's so much money that you're, you're putting on the line, and it's not for anything, like, reasonable. Like, it is somehow... I can't believe I'm saying this. People get people might get mad at me for this. But I think it's dumber than what Kyrie did. Okay? I think it's dumber. I'll say it. Because at a certain level, Kyrie Irving is, you know, he's he's silly. He's stupid uh, about, like, all the shit that he believes. But, like, there's a level of, of, of being, like, genuine about it. You know what I mean? He's just like, oh, I don't know. I, I think I'm a smart guy. And that's why I promoted this documentary or whatever. Okay? Whereas, like, there is a, there is a level of, there is a level of, like, authenticity behind what Kyrie is doing, even though he's dumb, right? Whereas with what, jo, uh, what John Moran is doing is just fucking stupid, and there is no, like, intention behind it beyond stupidity, and just, like, uh, being a child, you know what I mean? They're not bringing back the Kyrie shoes I was on. I know, I already bought so many pairs, I don't, I don't even give a fuck. I got literally the... Dude, the anti-vax 7s are fucking mint, okay? I don't give a shit. I got it in, like, multiple cars. I got it in green. I got it in gray. I got it in that weird, like, orange uh, uh, color, too. I don't give a fuck. I already, I already got my bag on the Kyries, okay? Oh, my God, dude. I mean, those shoes are great. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what Kyrie Irving has said. If you make a good basketball shoe, I'm going to wear it. And he certainly did. Okay, so... I will never forget that stream where you bought five Kyries. Yeah. John Moran just has gang member buddies who act tough. Kyrie's just like fucked up by horrible politics and crushed by the weight of evil white people and it broke his brain a little bit. Anyway. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter because like you can always outball the controversies. Like that's just true. Right? You can, if you are good enough, it doesn't fucking matter. You can do whatever the fuck you want and get away with it for the most part. Right? And he is good as far as I understand, but it just like blows my fucking mind. It blows my mind that like, I don't know. It, it, it's just that you would put yourself out there in, in such a poor light for no fucking reason. Like you're not there. It's not even something that you like genuinely believe in. Like, what is the goal there? This is what I mean when I compare it to Kyrie Irving. Like, Kyrie, for how, uh, you know, silly he is or how stupid he is, he's naive enough, but he, like, genuinely believes the shit that he's saying. He might be wrong. He might be misguided, but he genuinely believes it. He thinks, like, he's doing something uh, that is, like, personally, uh, you know, honest and, and, and his own truth that he's advocating for. Meanwhile, what, what, what are you advocating for? Uh, as as John Morant, like, are you advocating for the right to like, you know, wave a piece around on fucking Instagram Live? Like, I just don't, I don't get it. Anyway, 
Yeah, he has convictions for Kyrie has convictions for his beliefs as wrong as they are. Whereas John Moran, I don't know what he's like advocating for. So wasn't the last time an accident? I mean, it, yeah, of course. Both times were accidents. He was just hanging out with his friends. I know, but don't fucking pull it out on a live stream, man. Even your friend's fucking knows. Even your friend knew that, like, that was dumb. How do I know his friend knew that was dumb? He tried to hide it. Like, he literally tried to, like, move the camera away. Like, he thought he was being sneaky. He was like, oh, shit. He's doing, he's fucking up again. Like, let's watch the video. Here, let's. All right, where, does anyone have the video? Here's the truth. Ja wants to be a part of a young boy song. That's so lame if that's the case. Memphis Grizzly star. Here, let's start with Ja Morant. Suspended for a second time after once again appearing to flash a gun on social media. Like... Like, you're so dumb. You know that, come on, man. You know that they're, like, fucking live streaming it. You know your homie's live streaming it. You fucking pull it out. You're, you're waving it around. Your friend recognizes that you're waving it around on camera, goes, oh, shit, and moves the camera around. Like, you fucked up again. The video circulated on Saturday night. It shows Morant with what appears to be a... Very confused MB. Thank you for the 25. Get the subs. Handgun while he's riding in a friend's car. Yesterday, the Grizzlies said they were aware of the video and suspended Morant from all team activities pending league, re league review. It's also really bad, uh, like, you know, it, it's just really bad uh, uh, gun ownership uh, etiquette. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to do that anyway. Like, like I shit on white people when they do this, too, for the record. Like, this gun that I fucking wave around is not real, okay? It's not. It's fake. So, I don't have a problem fucking waving this shit around, even though it does feel real, okay? But, like, it's not. It's bad etiquette. Like, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> what the fuck? It's bad gun safety. In March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was seen holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram Live. A representative for Morant did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show. Interview with a crib about it? Maybe his is fake too. No, he has like, no, his is real. JJ Reddick had a great take on this. I mean, no one gives a fuck. Again, we can go into the backstory of the incident with uh, the teenager, Jaws claiming self defense that the teenager threw the. Oh, as far as the punishment goes, yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Uh, for the record, I will state that I will state that like, I do think it's like, uh, over the overboard with how much the, the punishment is and, uh, and, and that, um, you know, having said that though, I still don't understand what the fuck he's doing. The ball in his face. Uh, we can go into the incident at the mall when he yelled at his security guard. We can go into the incident, uh, with the, uh, Indiana Pacers traveling party. As far as we know, all of these things have been investigated and no law has been broken. I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying there should be no punishment. There should be. There should be consequences. You are the face of the league. You are representing the NBA. You are a role model to young kids. All of that. I don't think half a season is the right answer. And the last point I want to That's make is crazy. you bring this up. The, the, the guns on social media. We talk about consequences. Look, in our country right now, gun culture is pervasive. It's pervasive. We've got mass shooting after mass shooting, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So I get why we're so sensitive to this right now. But there's no consequence for Greg Abbott telling his constituents that they should go buy more guns, and then we have mass shooting after mass shooting in Texas. There's no consequence for an elected Sheesh. Tennessee official to send out a Christmas card holding AR-15 with his young family, and then there's a shooting in his very district. There's no consequences to that. So why are we, why are we trying to lay down the hammer on a 23-year-old who didn't break the law? Explain that to me. 
He's right. This element is this element is correct, one hundred percent. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. But I do treat John Morant in the same way that I do like any fucking uh, you know dumbass like amosexual white kid who would do the exact same type of fucking video. You know what I mean? Obviously, part of the reason why they're going hard on him is, you know. A lot of white people that watch the NBA, okay? Don't get me started. <laughs> you know why. You know why they're going hard on him, okay? But also, you corrected me once on this, but I'm going to say it in this instance again. It's because he's black, baby. No, this is 100% that is the part of the reason, yes. Yeah, no, no shit. To him about how much more... <laughs> Adam Silver saying he was shocked when he saw it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it was shocking. But also, you know, not so shocking because he's done it already. He's done it before. Be if he did this again. Well, we, we talked directly about the consequences first before we got to a subsequent um, potential to have done something wrong. We were very focused on the misconduct that was in front of us at the time. And, and frankly, most of our conversation was about how incredibly serious the first incident was of waving you know, a firearm on, you know, on social media. And again, you know, the, and the consequences there, an eight game suspension was pretty serious and something that he, at least to me, seemed to take incredibly seriously in that time. And we spoke for a long time about not just the consequences that could have on his career, but the safety issues around it um, could have. NBA has been battling the thug image for ages. Okay, that's already like an incredibly racial fucking thing. When I say NBA has been combating the thug image, I mean that like sarcastically. I'm talking about how fucking stupid that is, okay? The idea that like, uh, you know, uh, black people can't dress however they want or, uh, you know, say whatever the fuck they want and that every single time a black person does something like that, it's like it has to invoke like, racially charged uh animosity that's an incredibly racist statement and when i talk about the nba's attitude towards it i'm talking about it in a negative fashion i'm like actually criticizing the nba for going overboard on this kind of stuff now if you were to look at it from the perspective of like uh the nba is a liberal institution which it is right and they have a a, a brand image that they want to preserve which they do and that image revolves around making sure that like even legal uh gun owners in the nba which there are plenty of are responsible in their own personal lives and the way that they portray themselves in social media, that part makes sense. Okay? That part actually does make sense. What I mean, obviously, they are going a little bit overboard on this as well. Um, you have to blame Gilbert Arenas for the gun issue. You can blame Allen Iverson and Malice at the Palace from where they started combating thug culture. First of all, Malice at the Palace was more like valid at the fucking palace. Even I know that. It was fucking ridiculous the way that they treated everybody. Allen Iverson was a brand, okay? And he was great uh, as a fucking brand, for the record. I think that NBA uh, has always gone overboard on stuff like this because... Such is the nature of, of any, kind of uh, any kind of space or any kind of industry that hires a lot of black people, that loves black culture, but like as soon as, you know, as soon as uh, the, the black people that you've hired have stepped out of the neat confines that are like appropriate for white consumption, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, 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 calm the fuck down. Okay? Like there are valid... There are certainly valid, uh, uh, you know, considerations here with respect to John Morant flashing a gun over and over again. It's a bit of a meme, and people do, uh, uh, you know, people do take it to hysterical levels. Malice wasn't Iverson. I know Malice wasn't Iverson. He's saying two different things. Allen Iverson's imagery 
and and um, like Allen Iverson and the the way he conducted himself in interviews, uh, on and off the court was uh, one of the things that certainly uh, was was uh, what got the uh, the NBA to uh, start putting some restrictions around uh, conduct. And the other one is Malice at the Palace, which was when Ron Artest, Meta World Peace, I think his name is Meta World Peace, like that shit was, was perfectly fucking uh, appropriate in the way that they reacted to it, the players did. Um, and I think that it was ridiculous that they, uh, that they uh, came down super hard on it. I mean, they do this shit all the time. They go crazy. The NBA is, is fucking crazy, okay? What, what was it? Uh, who was it that said no homo or a pause? I think they said pause or no homo in a fucking post-game interview, and they got slapped with like a fucking $50,000 fine. Ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous. No, it wasn't Jokic. Jokic. Am I saying his name right? No, that, there was another guy who also got slapped for it. It happened multiple times. Can we talk about you and Britney, though? Britney Spears? <clears throat> the fuck is Britney? <clears throat> um, multiple people have said that, but I don't know if all of them have, were fine. Jokic. Wasn't Jokic the one who also, like, fucking pushed a... Uh, what was it, the GM? Like, two weeks ago? And then turn around and and fucking apologize like the owner. <laughs> That's insane, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I saw that and I was like, if he was black, he would be fucking executed on site. Okay. Like if John Morant did that, if John Morant did that, oh my god, they would arrest him. They would arrest him literally before he walked off the fucking court. Owner flopped and drew a foul too. I love talking about this, like uh, the way that racist people talk about black people, by the way. He violently assaulted the owner of the Suns. <laughs> he was aggressive and he violently apprehended and assaulted the owner of the Suns. Anyway. Um, so... It's just there is definitely like a there is definitely like a double standard, uh, obviously. But such is the nature of any kind of like industry, whether it be media, whether it be fucking sports, where uh, white people love watching uh, black people consuming black culture, but never seeing black people as people. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. I'm like anytime you are reminded of the humanity of a black person, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, 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 calm down. Injured, maimed, killed himself, someone else with an act like that. And <laughs> he's such a lib, but he's right. He's right. He's not wrong. Like, it's true. He seems so disappointed, but like, I get it. Consequences that could have on his career. He's right. He's 100% right. I'm sorry. He's right. The around it um, could have injured, maimed, killed himself, someone else with an act like that. And also... The acknowledgement that, as you said, he's a star. I mean, he has an incredibly huge following. Yeah. And that my <laughs> concern, and I thought he shared with me. He's literally like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be my cash cow. What the fuck is wrong with you? Which I get. I'm too old for toys. Thank you for the tank of the suds. No, literally. He's, li he's, <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. He's such a stud. He's such a fucking stud. We're about to buy bucket loads of cash. Why are you fucking it up? You're fucking up the bag for me. You're fucking up the bag for the owners. You're fucking up the bag for yourself. What the fuck? It genuinely and legitimately does not make sense. It, it doesn't. I don't understand it.
I don't. Lost my playoffs against LeBron, so I thought I'd spend more time this offseason doing things I care about, like watching your streams and fighting against affordable housing in Atherton. <laughs> Stephen, Cur Stephen Curry's burner. Thank you. Thank you for making... Thank you. Thank you, Steph Curry, for maintaining the integrity and the sanctity of the neighborhood of Atherton. Okay? Don't use stud. It's racist. What do you mean? Like stud is in cool, not like in this, uh, not as in like uh, in the racist connotation, uh, invoking like uh, slavery. You fucking weirdo. No, he's no he he went he went all the way back to fucking uh, pre-abolition era uh, language to fucking pull that out in the way that it's currently utilized. In the way that it's currently utilized in normal fucking colloquial uh, conversations, nobody would ever think that. Everyone would go, oh, yeah, like, he's, he's cool as fuck. Like, he's a stud. He's a Chad, okay? Anyway. Which he is. He is. He's sick. Anyway. Stud is a horse. Yes, stud is a horse uh, meant for breeding, a stallion meant for breeding. And of course, obviously, uh, it, it you know anything that you uh, talk about with respect to animals, racist white people uh, who were slavers utilized towards black people. That's what that person was talking about. Anyway. You said he's a stud, he's a cash cow. It sounded like it was in that context. No one thought that it was in that context except for you. That's insane. Anyway, um, stud is not racist. Buck is the term they're thinking of. No, I think they. I think stud was utilized in the same way. Not buck. Uh, obviously, buck is a different one. But um. Anyway, regardless, what the fuck was I saying? Uh Um. Both of y'all are being weird. I'm not. I don't think. Ja is Jack. Not only that, but he wears the freshest clothes, eats at the chillest restaurants, and hangs out with the hottest dudes. I mean, that's true. He is. So it was like Buck's lesser used cousin in racist vernacular. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think anybody thought that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My point is this. Okay. If John Morant keeps acting like this, he's not going to be able to avoid the top of the hour ad breaks. Okay. Because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. And the way to avoid that is by having money for the most part, right? $5 a month or a free one in the form of a Twitch Prime uh, by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. If you have Adam Silver's, uh, you know, uh, Twitch, uh, or sorry, if you have Adam Silver's Amazon Prime account, you can connect it to your Twitch account and get one free Prime subscription a month. Hopefully you can use it on your favorite broadcaster. That happens to be me. Or you can get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Sakura Gore, and I'm too old for Twitch. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, allowing 20 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour here is the three minute ad break now you know these are these are the things you could do dnd andy thank you for the five gifted subs as well Anyway, with me that millions, if not tens of millions of kids globally would see him as having done something that was celebrating in a way, you know, that that act of 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 sort of of, your, of, of using a firearm in that fashion. Dude, he's so, so fucking young. I it's at crazy. least was left. Um, he's literally a baby, dude. That's the other part of it. Like, look at him. Look at his face. Like, he's straight up a fucking baby, okay? I know people will go, oh, my God, like, oh, whatever. Yeah, he's 23 is a baby, okay? From where I'm standing, you're a child. Part of the reason why he's behaving this way, because he's a fucking baby. ...sense that he was taking this incredibly seriously. So, honestly, I was shocked. You're infantilizing him so hard. I mean, I, I do that to anyone who's under the age of, like, 25 for the most part. I am, I am 30, 
I'm about to be 32 years old. I'm 31, about to be 32 years old. <clears throat> what about 23 year olds that don't act that way? Great. I know. I'm saying it's still fucking irresponsible. This is not like a, a way to uh, let him get away with it or anything like that. It's still irresponsible. Obviously, some punishments should be fucking doled out. I don't understand why he's doing it. I spent most of the fucking time covering how fucking stupid it is and how insanely irresponsible this behavior is and how dumb it is from a personal perspective too. Okay. I'm not infantilizing. Him. I'm not saying goo goo gaga. He doesn't know how to fucking uh, act because he's a, a child, but he is still a child. When I saw this weekend, that video now we're in the process of it's crazy how anytime you talk about a black person, all the white kids start chirping about how they're interpreting everything you say is racist. The fuck is that? Um, I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. Investigating it, um, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then. It's, again, it's the video's a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst, you know, and, uh, but we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure out, you know, exactly what happened there. I don't even think it's white guilt. I think it's more so... It's not even white guilt that makes them react this way. I think it's more so uh, the fact that they want to get one on me. You know what I mean? Like, everybody loves coming across as, like, super fucking holier than thou and super knowledgeable on a particular matter. Uh, one way to do that is by, like, showing the streamer how much more woke you are than they are. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's what a lot of these guys are trying to do, in my opinion. We literally see how speed is young and stupid. Young people do stupid stuff. This is the same thing, just less racist and more gun flashy. Yeah, it's less, it's, <laughs> it's less racist, but certainly still like yee yee type uh, behavior. You know what I mean? He's just like yee yee as fuck. Yee yee, brother, I fucking love guns. <laughs> what was edited? You infantilize Aiden Ross too, for fuck's sake, lol. Yeah, I mean, he's also fucking a dumbass and also very young. Um, oh, the Kaya pick, yeah, that that pick is edited. Look at how big my hand is. NPR, cops say that being poisoned by fentanyl. Experts say that your risk is extremely low. Yeah, no shit. Thank you, NPR, for finally fucking arriving at the cor correct conclusion. These superstars tend to come from extremely underserved, poorest communities, and they're shoved into, shoved into the limelight. It's a huge adjustment. Yeah, except John Morant is not, from what I understand, is not even from that background. So I don't know what you're talking about. And if you know anything about, like, a lot of these superstars, first and foremost, uh, even superstars that are coming from extremely poor neighborhoods, at least from as far as I know, are immediately groomed in, in these, like, scouting programs. Like, Five Star. Is Five Star still around? Probably. Like, uh, and, and, uh, numerous other programs. So they like develop way like they're, they're literally, they, they start off in like fucking middle school. They know, they know what they're getting into. Like prospect NBA prospects are not the same as it, like your average uh, kid who doesn't have after school uh, programs and is fucking, uh, you know, uh, in his, in his incredibly underserved neighborhood. It's not like that at all. Even if people are coming from incredibly underserved neighborhoods, once they get into the NBA prospect lane, they are literally uh, uh, built up. Yeah, and most of the most of these kids will go to like super expensive prep schools anyway. Also, that's not always necessarily the case. A lot come from very affluent backgrounds. Travel ball is expensive. Yeah. That wasn't Jaw, though, which is why it's a different story. He was a Murray State kid who came from under the radar and doesn't know what to do with the blow up. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you're overgeneralizing it. I'm, sh I'm just saying that, like, I, I think people are constantly looking for excuses in that regard, and I think it's, it's silly. You're correct on this. Parents will dump life savings into getting their kids into basketball camps and things like that until they're scouted because they know they will be set if it hits. Yeah. A 
A lot of people are weird about where Ja is from. Sumter SC is not an amazing place, and he was a late bloomer. Wasn't even a top 100 recruit until his senior year. Basically, in the span of a year, he went from a tiny poot town to the top two pick. About education, young and new rich folk don't know what to do with all the money and spend it unwisely. Okay, that's... Anyway... Was the gun registered to him, and does that affect it? Uh, I he is a he is a licensed gun owner, uh, but regardless, it does not matter because he is still <clears throat> like, uh, he, he you know he's not behaving in a responsible gun owner manner. Does that make sense? That's the problem, because like waving your gun around uh, while singing when you're in the front seat of a car is incredibly fucking irresponsible and most likely illegal. That's like, that's crazy. Like that's, you can't fucking, you can't brandish a weapon in your car, man. Like it doesn't work that way. You just can't do that. It's a gun. It's a very serious thing. And it's hilarious. Cause he just can't stop doing it. I feel like he's just like, I'm in a fucking, uh, waving my gun around competition and my competition is John ja Morant and it's like you can't do anything you just there's no way to beat him he's undefeated in that pro, in that regard he was he's just you can't stop him at all he can't stop himself he's like oh fuck man uh, is there a camera around he's like what Hunter Biden to crack cocaine is what uh, uh, John ja Morant is to fucking waving his gun around he sees a fucking camera. Hunter Biden sees a camera. He lights it up immediately. He's like, oh, shit. Time to spark crack cocaine up. Okay. John Moran sees a camera. He's like, oh, fuck. Where's my gun? Got to pull it out. Fuck. Anyway, I just don't get it. I don't know why anyone who has like so much lined up for them would fuck that shit up. He's the LeBron of gun waving. Absolute goat. You were going to get canceled for this? Wait, what? No. Why? I think my, my sentiment on John Moran is like very even keeled and uh, perhaps even too centrist where like he's being a fucking idiot, but also I think his punishment is like not apt. I think he goes way overboard. 